What's going on guys? It's your boy Scrub here back again with another video and today I am joined by a very special guest one of the most special people to ever exist What's up guys? It's me quite. I'm literally in bed with Scrubby. That isn't a joke uh, It's not a joke, but I, I don't feel like I can explain it any further without getting demonetized and uh, today, well, this week, I guess, we've been at TwitchCon, which was pretty sick. Like, I had a good time. I don't know about you. I'm having a good-ass time. I've had a whole good-ass weekend, bro. Yeah, so so we've just been, you know, going around trying to experience San Diego and TwitchCon and all that stuff. But, of course, you know, it wouldn't be a weekend unless something stupid happened involving, like, a Karen complaining to a manager. Because that just follows me like a curse. I don't know if you have any curses, but, like, I, I swear everywhere I go, soccer moms pop out of the woodwork to try to make my life a living hell. They just start spawning out of the goddamn walls like... <laughs> Like, it's like a Minecraft spawner if I don't put torches around it fast game. enough. Like, it's like past 6 p.m. The darkness level's too low. They just start popping yeah, up. Yeah, they just start popping up everywhere. And and we were at this restaurant. Um, if you don't explain the restaurant. So we were at this nice steakhouse, right? Like, we were trying to get dinner because we hadn't eaten anything all day. So we're walking around. We see this one restaurant. We go inside. Got to wait a little bit to be sat. But we get sat, and we're really, really hungry. And we get this nice-ass steak. But then this one bitch, this one bitch comes in. And she starts making a riot. Yeah, so we're sitting there enjoying these steaks. All right, I'm not going to lie. These steaks weren't cheap. Shout out to Karen for making that ad revenue fat. You know what I mean? But <laughs> we're, we're sitting there eating these steaks, and we're having a good time, and it's really enjoyable. And the restaurant's pretty empty. It's like us and another table. And I can see while we're eating that, like, the wife of the dude at the table is looking very unhappy, which... I don't know. I thought the service was a little incredible. You know, shout out to uh, our waiter. I forgot your name, but you were you were killing it, man. You were bringing the water on time. Everything was a fantastic experience. But I'm looking over the shoulder, and I see the soccer mom start to get irritated and, like, mad at the food, which there was nothing to be mad at, first of all. This place was killer. Like, I don't know how you can be mad at the food, but she is. And then, like, the dreaded words come over. Like, we, I, I can hear it. You know, the shrill, like, <clears throat> and their lips curl, and they go, may I speak to the manager? Like, the light in the little room gets, like, ten levels dark. Darker, like there's like a big net around your vision, your vision, and you feel like you're about to go into you comatose see, like, lava coming through the floor. <laughs> like, Satan starts laughing. The wall, the hallways start getting longer. Exactly. So, so we're in that situation, and I'm like, oh, this is not gonna be a, a, a fun one. And you know, because like, first of all, I don't. Does this place even? This place is so fancy. I think everyone's a manager. Like everybody just has that title. Everybody's a manager somewhere. Yeah, you know, they're they're doing something important. So like, she says, "May I speak to your manager?" And the guy comes over. He's like, "Is there a problem?" And you know, it's gonna be a, a difficult complaint when they like start yelling it. Like they're like, "Oh, instead of being uh, cognizant of other people in the room and not ruining everyone's dinner, I'm just gonna be like, yes, the potatoes are overcooked.'" So she starts talking about how her potatoes are overcooked and her steak is too rare. And the guy's like, "You know, I'm so sorry. We'll fix it for you." Like. Come on, we're so sorry. We apologize for the inconvenience. And he starts picking up the plate. And I guess that was, like, not the right thing. Because the next thing I know, she, like, slammed the plate onto the table. And that's when everybody else at the table, I think me and Quiet were, like, the only ones paying attention, like, turns and looks. So now the entire restaurant's looking at her because this lady's having a diabetic freak out in the middle of a steakhouse at, like, 4 p.m. But whatever, I, I guess I can't judge you. And then she just starts screaming. I'll, I'll let you tell the next part. God, she was going off about something about, like, the plate the waiter picked up wasn't even, like, full. Like, she'd already eaten the food on that plate. So even if it wasn't the right thing, she just, like, slapped that poor waiter's hand for no reason. He's probably got a broken wrist now. What's he going to do? How's he going to feed his family? How's he going to feed himself? He ain't got wrist anymore. But she, start free she starts freaking out, like, on not only on the waiter, but the manager that, like, she had pulled over before. And, like, she's going off about, like, these potatoes being overcooked or some shit. And then... Like, what, what is he supposed to do? Because she's already eaten the fucking food she's complaining about. Yeah, well, okay, that's the other thing. I didn't even think about that, but if you already ate the food and it was terrible, and, like, you just kept eating it, that's kind of your bad, you know? You're like, oh, this is disgusting. I'm gonna eat the rest of it and then complain for more stuff. Like, look, either buy the double entree or understand that if you eat all of the disgusting food, it couldn't have been that disgusting. But I think that's way above Karen's pay grade. Like... You know what I mean? Yeah, it, in, just... in her defense, I guess, like, I absolutely hate salt and vinegar chips. Terrible. Awful. If you like them, you're a bad person. But if there's nothing else there, you bet you're asking them to keep munching on them. No, for like, sure. I need fair. To, yeah, like, yeah. Maybe, maybe she was doing one of those. Shouldn't have been. Wasn't helping her case. But maybe that was it. Benefit of the doubt. You know how it is. Okay, was. but she's freaking out about, like, how, how the entire plate was wrong after she's eaten it. And then the manager's trying to, like, calm everything down. He's still being super chill. At this point, I would have lost him and been like, well, if you don't like the steak, then throw it back up. Otherwise, I'm not refunding you, you know? Like... 
But but she, he he's being chill. He's like, hey, well, sorry, we'll get you another plate. But I guess that wasn't good enough because she starts saying like, well, I wanted the food I ordered when I ordered it, and I'm what what quite said is true is like, well, then why didn't you eat it all? You like you're mad that they made a mistake, and when they offer to fix the mistake, you're like, well. It should have been right the first time. Yeah, that's true, I, I guess. But, like, they're trying to fix it, and you're just being a Karen. And I don't know how you want them to pull the food out of your o obese stomach and then remold it back into <laughs> what it was and then put it back in your mouth. Like, that makes no sense, bro. But she's going in on this poor guy. <laughs> Homie, just, like, start a, a stomach surgery on part, like on spot. Pull out her appendix. Pull out all of her liver. Everything you can think of until you get that meat out of her so you can recook it. She doesn't want a new piece of steak cooked to the specifications. She wants the same one that she's already thick, she's already had pulled out of her stomach and fixed. It, it's just, it makes no sense. It, literally nothing. And so the manager's still trying to be nice, and she's just being horrible. And then she starts, like, degrading him as a person. Do you remember that? Yeah, the, this, this is uh, lessons with Scrubby and Coit, boys. This is what they call ad hominem. When you attack the part of somebody that has nothing to do with what you're talking about. He starts talking about, she starts talking about his looks and shit, like calling him a bit pubby, which he was not. He was a beautiful man, I can tell you that. Great mustache, great very hair. Handsome. Yeah. yeah, honestly, like, beautiful. Very, like, very solid 8, 9 out of 10 guy. Yeah. Like, no homo. Um, um, but you know how it is. Like, she was going after stuff that, like, wasn't even there, trying to attack his integrity and shit. Like, it was so dumb. Yeah, she's calling him a liar. She's like, you deceived me. You lied to me when you, when you said that this was medium rare. And he's like, I'm, so I'm not under oath. I made a mistake. You know, I'm sorry. But she's calling him, like, a liar and saying that she hopes that his children, like, have a better father figure because he's not a man. And we're like... He just messed up your order, lady. You don't need to attack his manhood. Like, she's attacking this guy. Like, destroying him, saying that he's not a good father because this lady ate all of the dinner she didn't want. I don't even know how you're that bad of a person. Like, you ever seen someone do something and you're like, you can do that and not implode? Like, you're just... How, how are you that bad of a person? Exactly. There's multiple ways to do the same thing. That is one you should never have done. Like, as this goes on, she's getting louder and louder and louder. And, like, if our whole table wasn't looking before, there sure is hell looking now. And then all the other tables around us, like other TwitchCon attendees, are all looking at her because she's making such a big ruckus. Yeah, and then here, here's the real kicker. So you ever seen like on the game show when people get the cheat and they can pick like an audience help or, you know, can they call a friend? Yeah, they or, got a lifeline. Yeah, they have a lifeline. She decides that she's losing this argument because they're looking at her like she's crazy. So she goes and she hits the buzzer and she's like, I'd like to use my lifeline, please. And starts trying to get like other tables involved. And so she's working her way through the restaurant. She's like, don't you guys agree? And people are like, oh, uh, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. And so she's like trying to look for a definitive person to like back her up and make her feel important or whatever. And so she's going through and people are just like ignoring her or like not responding. And she's getting closer to our table. And I'm like, what is happening? I feel like I'm on a game show. You know, I'm Ninja Tyler Blevins on Family Feud. I feel like I'm on a character select screen in Smash Bros. or some shit. Like she's trying to pick her next fighter. It's like your like, cousin trying to branch. <laughs> like it's like you trying to teach your like little three year old toddler cousin how to hold the controller, and your parents are like, "Nope, you gotta let him play now." It's basically that, except with right, with Karens and managers. So she stumbles upon us, and like it, where I'm just flabbergasted that this is going on. And she's like, what do you guys think? And I didn't say anything because I was, like, confused. But quite quick on his feet, just starts, like, showing this girl who's boss. It was crazy. Honestly, it didn't take a lot. All I had to say was some shit like, you are making a scene. That's it, homie. And then, like, she was gone. Shut down. Like, because none of the, like, the whole other rest of the restaurant was either ignoring her, telling her no. And that was that. Yeah. So, quite kind of is like, you're causing a scene. We're trying to enjoy our dinner. Like, um, he's a nice guy. This guy is really, really a great oh, guy. You guys should you, check Scrubby. out his channel. You should. You, he's, a, he's a good guy. But, like, you know, he doesn't want to make this girl feel bad. He's kind of like, you're making a scene and reasons with her, like, without picking yes or no. And she's kind of realizes she's dumb. And she she sits down and she's like, mm, my steak still sucked. And, like, <laughs> the, the husband, for some reason, during all this, like, I don't know if you noticed, but she was going off. He has, like, his head in his hands. It is just, like, sighing. Like, like this very... is not the first time this has happened for this guy. It's probably happened at for last like he's, he's probably had bigger explosions over smaller things I'd imagine. Yeah, bro, but you, you could just tell this guy was like I didn't make her sign a prenup and just like rubbing his head like <laughs> God, I should have gone for the divorce. Like uh, this this was a bad idea to keep this going. But um and she didn't she did not seem ashamed at all. She was like 
a cat like cleaning itself yeah, on the she, bed. Yeah, she was like she was like carrying away, but not because she thought she was wrong, but because she's just like nobody understands. Yeah, like it it was the, the entitlement was insane. And then um the afterwards the manager comes up to us and he's like, "Oh, I'm I'm so sorry for that." And he starts trying to like give us a discount like cuz he felt bad for making a scene. Like this how are you so mad at this guy? This guy was clearly such a nice guy. Like, even afterwards, instead of being like, that lady was crazy, he's like, oh, I'm so sorry for interrupting your meal here. Let me help you. Like, that makes it even worse when the manager you're yelling at isn't dumb. Like, yeah, they're a he, nice guy. Like, he's just uh, a poor, he's just a nice guy trying to do his, his job, you know? Excellent service. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was great. But, yeah, moral of this story is soccer moms are going to go off no matter where you go. They're like sirens you know that I, I, <laughs> they're attracted to the, the cocks are always gonna whoosh, come through with it but yeah i mean what what do you think the moral is i think the moral is subscribe to my youtube channel quite yeah so subscribe to quite but uh on that note guys that's gonna do it for the video you should check out quite's channel though he makes really good videos i'd recommend him he's a, he's a funny guy we had a lot of fun hanging out this weekend and uh it, it, we actually do have more stories we ran into another karen that wasn't like as crazy but it was still pretty crazy and if this video gets fifty thousand likes we'll do it again are you down hell yeah brother thanks for having me on no no for sure and uh yeah on that note have you guys an incredible day today's notification shout out goes to holland vs big shout out to you for having on notifications if you want a notification shout out you just gotta send me a screenshot of your notifications being on to my instagram which is at scrubby which you should follow by the way and uh yeah on that note don't get anyone pregnant if you do make sure they're hot and i'll see you guys tomorrow with another video i'm out peace